Hello friends. I'd like to share with you, something I believe, that I hope may resonate with your experience recovering from narcissist abuse. When I look back upon my experience, recovering from the abuse, I realize the presence of one important aspect. The spirit of truth opening our eyes. Narcissists are only effective on their targets, as long as their praise, remain oblivious to the narcissist gaslight, deceptions, and trauma-based modus operandi. For a long time, it seems as we were under a spell, that has kept us oblivious to what was going on. Worse yet, we believed all the deceptions presented to us. However, something phenomenal, is taking place nowadays. The truth is being revealed, for people with love of the truth. People, who are waking up from all the deceptions, sometimes feel inspired to help break the spell over others. They feel like a call, to help break the yokes that have kept others in slavery for so long. Narcissists are in panic, because their narrative, and modus operandi, are being exposed at all levels, and people are choosing to rebuke them. Despite this awakening process, generates cognitive dissonance, as the deception spell is being broken, it is a journey that is liberating, and permanent. The fortification against narcissists starts to take place as we move forward with love of the truth and recognize this truth is from God, opening our eyes and allowing us to see the truth. Therefore, we become empowered by the Holy Spirit as we choose to rebuke the deceptions. That's the key issue with the Spirit of Truth. He wants to lift our eyes to Christ. And that is why narcissists so despises the role of the Spirit of the Truth. The spirit seems to be a blind spot for many. And where the spirit is relegated or twisted in some way, then the bottom line will always be a drift towards an autonomous and self-driven spirituality. Perhaps we would do well to ponder the narcissist's attempt to invalidate the spirit of truth. I suspect that if we were to ponder this, then we would find our hearts drawn to Christ. This is the goal of the spirit as well as the great fear of narcissists. I hope you realize the importance of fortifying yourself by breaking the narcissistic yokes with the spirit of truth. You have a choice. You can grieve the spirit of God and be filled with the narcissist's deception. Or you can purge the narcissist's deceptions out and be filled with the truth by spirit of God. God bless you. Please remember. Truth is freedom.